Hello, fellow nature enthusiasts and curious minds. Welcome back to our channel Wilds Life. Today, we are diving into the perplexing world of hippos and their aquatic skills, or should we say, lack thereof. Hippos don't have engines, or propellers, or sails. So how, exactly, do they charge through the water so impressively? Get ready to embark on an entertaining and educational journey as we uncover the secrets behind why those hefty hippos can't seem to stay afloat. So grab your snorkels and let's jump right in. Hippos, the giants of the river. We'll start by introducing our main characters, the magnificent hippos. Picture this, massive bodies, big mouths, and those adorable, beady eyes peeking out of the water. Hippos are known for being herbivorous powerhouses and spend a great deal of their time submerged in water to escape the sweltering heat. Hippopotamuses are semi-aquatic mammals native to sub-Saharan Africa. Although their name comes from the Greek for river horse, because of the time they spend in the water, their closest living relatives are whales, dolphins, and pigs. They can't breathe underwater, or even float, but they have developed a tactic that lets them nap underwater. But swimming? Well, that's a whole different story. The Physics of Buoyancy Now, let's put on our lab coats and geek out a bit. The first culprit behind hippos' swimming woes lies in their body structure. Despite their enormous size, these hefty creatures have relatively dense bones and muscle mass, which means they tend to sink in water. Imagine trying to float in the pool while carrying a dumbbell, not exactly a recipe for success, right? Blubber, friend or foe? We all know that whales and seals have blubber to keep them buoyant, but what about our hippos? Turns out, they missed that memo. Hippos are all about muscle power, and their lack of a thick layer of blubber means they face an uphill battle when it comes to staying afloat. So, if you're ever in a floating contest with a hippo, be sure to bet on yourself. Bottom Feeding Experts Hippos are nature's lawn mowers, happily munching on aquatic plants that grow near riverbanks. But to reach these tasty morsels, they must descend to the riverbed. Their short legs and hefty bodies make it easier for them to walk and gallop along the bottom rather than swim. It's like watching a heavyweight champion do the moonwalk. Adaptation Overload Nature is always full of surprises, and hippos have embraced their aquatic challenges in their own unique way. They've evolved incredible adaptations, such as webbed toes and the ability to hold their breath for an astonishing amount of time. These adaptations help them maneuver efficiently through the water without actually swimming. They're like the James Bond of the animal kingdom. Aquatic Contenders Let's take a moment to appreciate the competition. While hippos may not be the Michael Phelps of the animal kingdom, there are plenty of other creatures who have mastered the art of swimming. From the graceful dolphins to the agile otters, the animal world is filled with impressive aquatic contenders. Hippos may not join the swimming squad, but they certainly hold their ground as the heavyweight champions of the river. The sink or swim dilemma. Swimming is not only about buoyancy but also about technique. It takes coordinated movements and a knack for rhythm to glide effortlessly through the water. Unfortunately for hippos, their hefty bodies and short legs make it challenging to execute the synchronized strokes necessary for effective swimming. They may be experts at sinking, but swimming is a whole different story for them. Water, hippos' hidden strength. While hippos may not excel in swimming, they are still water warriors in their own right. These mighty creatures are incredibly agile and nimble in the water, capable of navigating through intricate river networks with ease. They can dive, twist, and turn underwater like acrobats, proving that even without the ability to swim, they are still masters of their aquatic domain. The Fun Side of Hippos Let's not forget to mention the sheer entertainment factor that comes with observing hippos in the water. Despite their lack of swimming skills, they make up for it with their playful nature. Witnessing a group of hippos engaging in water battles, 
splashing around, and even performing synchronized yawning routines is a delightful spectacle. They may not be the synchronized swimmers of the animal kingdom, but they sure know how to have a good time in the water. Hippos, why so fast in the water? Hippos boast barrel-shaped bodies, short legs, and elongated muzzles. Their skeletal structures are specifically designed for carrying their tremendous weight, making them gravipotal creatures. Interestingly, their body composition grants them the ability to sink and effortlessly maneuver along the riverbed. Due to their aquatic habitat, hippos have evolved smaller legs compared to other megafauna, as the water significantly alleviates the burden of their While these mighty animals can reach speeds of up to 30 km h 19 miles per hour during land gallops, their primary mode of movement on land is trotting. It's worth noting that hippos lack the ability to jump but are surprisingly adept at scaling steep river banks. Despite being semi-aquatic and possessing webbed feet, adult hippos struggle to swim effectively and are unable to float gracefully in the water. The final verdict. So, after our investigative journey, it's time for the verdict. Hippos may not be the Olympic swimmers of the animal world, but they have found their own unique way of getting around in the water. Whether they're walking on the riverbed or gracefully gliding just beneath the surface, hippos have adapted to their environment in extraordinary ways. And there you have it, friends. The secret behind why hippos still can't swim after evolving through 54 million years. Despite their hefty bodies and buoyancy challenges, they've managed to carve out their own niche in the waterways of Africa. Remember, while hippos may not be natural-born swimmers, they have their own unique qualities that make them fascinating and enjoyable to observe. So, embrace their quirks and keep appreciating the remarkable diversity of nature. We hope you've enjoyed this wild ride, filled with fascinating facts and a touch of humor. Until next time, keep exploring, stay curious, and never stop marveling at the wonders that surround us. And that concludes our showcase of the today's topic. We hope you enjoyed this video. If you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel and don't forget to share this video with your friends, family, and relatives so that they too can enjoy videos on wild animals. Thank you for watching.